because that, that would be accurate. Um, I think, and I don't know what the number, whether it's five or seven, but there's a block of hockey that he's played now where he's, we're really hopeful that he's defined that game, that he's been very, very consistent. He's a strong, powerful man. He's made quick reads, so he's getting to the people he needs to get to hard. He's got good enough hands to make those inside plays, uh, but he's kept that part simply, simple, um, and he's moved the puck simply. And you know, what we're really, what we're counting on is this is the development route that he's on. That he's, we can make this his foundational game. And then he's a really good fit with Dustin. Two big physical guys. You can change your matchup based on the size of your opponents. Um, but we, we really like where his game is trending. Is there any surprise there? Because Ben Schrott and Toby Enstrom are very different type players, yet right. both seem to have that chemistry. But what would what would be the same about them based on Ben's last seven games? They were very consistent in their style. So Dustin is a very high hockey IQ, and he will make adjustments to his game as long as you know, the easier that you can predict your partner, you move maybe into different holes. Um, Toby was very good at the tight turn into the middle, even under pressure, it was a strength of his. And also taking the puck back from Dustin, and Dustin brought it over to him, so I drew the coverage and would go back to Toby. And Benny's is a different game. Um, and, and now also with Benny, he knows where to find Dustin. So there's a chemistry built that would be similar. Buff and Toby had a very uh, predictable game when they played with each other and starting to find out with Ben as well. So 